Hi guys, um, what I want to do today is give you a demo on uh, SQL Server Integration Services. So SQL Server Integration Services is a part of uh, SQL, um, SQL Server, in this case 2008. Um, 2008 is also quite similar to SQL Server 2005, which is also quite widely, widely used at the moment, um, but there's quite a big difference between uh, between SQL Server 2000 and those subsequent subsequent versions. So um, so here we go. So what we'll do is to kick off the um, the program. Uh, just, it's within SQL Server 2008, and what we use is the SQL Server uh, uh, Business Intelligence Development Studio. So we'll set that running, and what. Um, what we'll do is create a new project, and I'll call this project. Um, uh, we'll just call this um, uh, YouTube SQL Server Integration Service Demo. Okay, it's in my SQL Server examples. That's running a little bit slow because it's uh, just sitting on my on my laptop. Just let it do its thing for a second. So here we go. Is that we've got what they call the um, the IDE, so the Integrated Development Environment, and that actually sits within Visual Studio. Um, so people who haven't done any um, any sort of program before may find that a little intimidating but just put that out of your mind because you, this is a nice graphical user interface and uh, and about 95% of the functionality can be achieved through a graphical user interface so um, it is turning into quite a nice um, user friendly tool so what we'll do today is demonstrate a ETL process so an ETL process is a extract transform load process. So we extract data out of a source file, we perform a transformation like a, um, can be a range of different things and within a complex package actually does involve, normally does involve a range, range of different transformations such as filters, aggregates, sorts, um, merge files and a whole range of, range of different things. But today we'll do something fairly simple and we'll just do a Let's do a just a simple sort on the segment um, segment field. So I'll just get rid of that. Um, and then once we've done that sort, we'll then um, load that data, do the L part of the ETL, and we'll load that into a um, to a text file in a uh, different destination. Okay. 